Hello, this is Gali Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about the Moringa Miracle for Health and Weight Loss. Moringa oleifera, also known as the Miracle Tree, is an ancient tree that is native to Asia and Africa and it has been for centuries used for many, many different purposes due to its very, very high density of bioactive compounds including carotenoids, polyphenols, phenolic acids, flavonoids and alkaloids. It has very, very nutritious pods, very nutritious roots. The bark is also very nutritious. Gums, leaves, and the seeds and the flowers are all used for foods and for medicines and for cosmetic purposes, and also for food uh, for livestock. Now in this video, I will give you a complete overview of the Moringa tree and its benefits for many, many common diseases as well as weight loss, including what you need to know about supplementation with Moringa. Now the Moringa tree is called the uh, miracle tree because of two uh, factors. The first one is the Moringa's ability to grow in very, very challenging conditions. And number two, it's the wealth of nutrients that Moringa contains. Now, once you listen to the rest of this video, you will definitely want to grow Moringa oleifera uh, in your garden or in your home. And you'll be very happy to hear that this extremely nutrient dense tree can easily grow from seeds or from cuttings, even in very, very poor soils, making it an excellent food source for the future uh, on our planet. Now, it does, however, need some warmth and it does need sunlight, but it only needs a little bit of water. So if you live in a cold climate and you want to grow Moringa, you can grow it indoors or you can grow it outdoors if you have sunny um, summers and then move it indoors during the winter, cold winter months, especially if you plant it in a pot. Now, after you plant it, it will suddenly begin to grow eight months later and it will grow so many leaves and the tree will blossom and it, it's just absolutely a miracle. Now, the second reason that Moringa is known as the miracle tree is due to its wealth of nutrients. 100 grams of Moringa contains 10 times the beta carotene found in carrots. Um, now, this beta carotene supports healthy vision, healthy reproduction, embryonic um, growth and development, as well as a healthy immune system, and also for cell differentiation. Now, Moringa leaves also have the vitamin C content of 12 oranges, protecting the body from free radical damage and from pollutants and toxins. Now, Moringa also has 17 times the amount of calcium and nine times the amount of protein found in dairy products, which support bone health and the muscle tissue. And Moringa also has 25 times the amount of iron found in spinach and even much in a much more absorbable form. So this is really a miracle, miracle tree. Moringa leaves are also rich in polyphenols, such as flavonoids, which have been shown to protect against heart disease and cancer. Now, one of the flavonoids found in high concentrations in Moringa is quercetine, which is found at levels of 100 milligrams per 100 grams. Now, that is really, really amazing. You have such a high percentage of this plant is actually a, a pure antioxidant. Now, quercetin is very, very potent antioxidant, and it also has fat-lowering effects and sugar-lowering anti-diabetic effects. Quercetin has been shown to reduce hyperlipidemia in, in heart disease, and it also protects the beta cells in the pancreas, lowering the risk of the onset of diabetes. Research also shows that Moringa has anti-fibrotic um, effects, antidepressant properties, anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antifungal properties as well. Now, due to all of this, it is no surprise that people in Asia and Africa have used this plant for centuries to treat various skin problems, many diseases, infections, depression, and even weight loss. Now, so let's talk about the Moringa for heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and liver disease, some of the more common diseases of, of uh, the world today. Now, even though Moringa is packed with nutrients, it also contains a lot of anti-nutrients. 
Now, this makes it difficult for our body to absorb the wealth of nutrients that Moringa has. However, these anti-nutrients in the Moringa are known to help reduce the risk for heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and liver disease. It's such an amazing food. Now, let's talk about Moringa for weight loss. Besides all of these positive effects that Moringa has, it seems that it is also very beneficial for weight loss. Animal studies have shown that Moringa lowers fat formation in the body while increasing the breakdown of fats as well. Now, another study showed that the isothiocyanates, one of the uh, lectins found in Moringa, one of the anti-nutrients, in Moringa have anti-obesity and anti-diabetic effects, increasing the insulin signaling and insulin sensitivity in our cells. Moringa also lowers appetite due to this effect as well. Now, let's talk about Moringa and Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. New research shows that certain compounds in Moringa may protect against these two uh, neurological diseases. Now, to conclude, Moringa is quite a miraculous food for our health. In fact, many drug companies are studying the mode of action of the compounds found in Moringa to develop new pharmacological products, new medications. I definitely recommend supplementing your diet with Moringa leaves, flowers, and pods in your cooking or salads or sandwiches. Now, as you now understand, even, even small amounts of this plant have significant benefits on our health and your overall well-being and it is well worth incorporating into your diet. Now if you choose to take supplements instead of eating the, the food itself, then uh, they will have a little bit lower antioxidant uh, properties, but they will still be very beneficial for health if you buy them in, from a reputable source. Now, if you are interested in growing your own Moringa, you can buy seeds at many, many different nurseries around the world. I have a few added links in the description of this video below. And if you decide to grow your Moringa tree indoors, then I recommend that you prune it very regularly. And this will help you grow a lot of leaves that you can use in your cooking. And it will be great for your food and for your health and for your family as well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you like the content. You can subscribe to my channel, ring the notifications button uh, to get updates on whenever I upload a video. And please visit my website at www.thegorilladiet.com for a lot of health and dietary information. So thank you very much for joining. Bless you.